Hello and welcome back. Where are we? Well, we're in Minecraft. Yes, we are, believe it or not. Uh, this is Sky Factory 3. And yeah, this is going to be kind of a how to play Sky Factory. And bringing you up to speed on Sky Factory 3. Uh, so you guys know that I did a Sky Factory 2 playthrough. Um, there's been some changes, and the biggest change is this is now in Minecraft 1.10 point something, something, something. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you pretty much start out on top of this tree, for those of you that don't know, and... We start with nothing. Um, this is obviously a modded world. Um, this is a manual. Uh, no clue what that is. This is another manual. You have a torch. You have some bacon. An achievement book. A builder's wand. A donut. That's it. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you... A general idea on how to play the game, uh, Sky Factory, and I'm also going to kind of go over uh, some of the mods. I'm not going to go over all the mods, um, but I know that there are people out there that are like, oh no, it's modded Minecraft, I, I, I can't, that was close. For those that don't know, there's nothing under this dirt block nothing all right so the first thing we need to do is we need to make some things first we're going to make why a crafting table of course i mean everybody knows that when you're in minecraft you first you punch a tree and then you make a crafting table all right next we need to figure out north uh, as you can see there's a little mini map that's obviously a mod um what we're going to uh to craft this crafting table into a tinkerer's construct crafting table isn't that awesome and uh, for those that don't know this crafting table oh yeah it's worth it so we're gonna put that down there um so this crafting table you can put stuff in it and it stays in there and it actually gives you a graphical representation of it in the crafting table, which is kind of cool, too. Uh, this tree is actually um, not a natural grown tree. That's why these leaves are not decaying. Uh, so that's actually a good thing. It gives us time to do stuff with our planks. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is make a little platform around here. And... I am going to use, well, I was supposed to use planks, and we lost that. All right. We're, I'm going to use the planks, obviously, and I'm going to bottom slab them. I don't really need to because for the first several, several, several Minecraft days, probably hours, um, I'm going to be very close to all of this, um, so things aren't going to spawn, but it's still nice. All right, we will, you know, we're going to make them all. Um, so yeah, Sky Factory, this is how you start. You have a tree, you have a dirt block. That's it. Now, the manuals, the um, the bacon, the donut. Um, we're actually not going to eat the donut or the bacon. Um, donut bacon. Yeah, not going to do it. Um, we might, I, I, I'm going to try to do like a, a shrine or a, a memorial to a bacon donut. 
um, making donut happens to be the maker of the mod. Um, hence why you end up getting a bacon and a donut. Cute, right? Um, so for people that don't know anything about Sky Factory and, and basically how to play, then you're probably looking at this and saying, well, Dev, you're, you're screwed. You, you can't do anything. I mean, so yeah, you can grow some trees and, and maybe expand this, but what are you going to do past that? Well, one of the first... Um, one of the first mods that you're going to be very heavily reliant on is called Ex Nilio. Um, and the first thing we're going to do now, as you saw, I took and made these slabs back into planks. Uh, so there's there's the first uh, there's a change from regular Minecraft. And and seriously, if you are having mod anxiety, just breathe, okay? Um, because mods just make Minecraft a little more fun, but you don't have to learn them all. Just pick one, learn about it, and move on. And you'll see that, hey, this makes my Minecraft easier. So we're going to make this wooden crook. And as you can see, this is Ex Nilio. They're at the bottom of the... Uh, little information screen that's coming up. Ex Nilio Ascendio. I, I'm probably brutally murdering that word. But we're making this wooden crook, which is easy to make. We're going to drop that down there. And we're going to use this to break these leaves. Now, this is supposed to give us a, all right, a higher chance to get a sapling. Now, right there, guys. We have won Sky Factory 3. If we didn't get this sapling, we were doomed. Okay. You need to get a sapling from the first tree. If you lose it, if it falls off, goes over the void, uh, you don't get one. Seriously, you, you have to delete your world and start over. Um, but if you get one, uh, you win. It's that simple. Now, you'll notice in my inventory, in slot number three, I have another thing. And this is one of the improvements here in Sky Factory 3, is uh, they've made the silkworms that drop uh, easier to see in your inventory. Um, so again, in Ex Nilio, you get uh, some added things, and silkworm is one of them. You cannot get a silkworm if you're not using a crook. So, kind of need to use crooks uh, if you want to get silkworms. And we're going to need them. Uh, not anytime soon, but we are going to want them. Alright, so normally, if you're playing regular Minecraft and you're waiting for a tree to grow, you're kind of you're, you're just waiting. But we have a little thing that we can do, which is just spam your shift key. Now, if you're a Windows user, you're going to want to turn off uh, some settings because sticky keys will pop up and say, I see you're um, spamming your shift key. You want us to uh, help you with that? So you're going to probably want to turn that off. Um, otherwise, yeah, that will interrupt your game. And... That's not good. So, obviously, as you can see, we got our tree to grow fairly quickly. Now, this tree's the, tr the this tree, the leaves are going to despawn. Uh, we got another one of those. Now, another mod that is in this is, um, it's not vein miner, but it's very similar. So, using the key that's to the left of the one key um, holding that down and smacking something uh, like the leaves with something in your hand will break all of that item that it can now 
that being said, there is a cost. One, uh, so like I use the crook, the tool took the damage as if I had broken every single leaf block. The other cost is my hunger. Uh, so my hunger uh, went down a lot. And when you get into bigger tree groupings, um, yeah, you'll end up uh, becoming completely and totally starving. Um, and it will not break everything. Uh, so that's something to take into consideration. Uh, that was not what I wanted to have. Let's plant that down. There we go. So basically, we're going to be doing this a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut here. And off camera, I'm going to grow trees and make the platform bigger. And grow trees and make the platform bigger. So we'll be back when that is done. See you in a minute. And like that, we're back with things. Uh, so yeah, I have chopped some trees, laid some wood, and first of all, over here, I have our default items. We have a nice little tree here, and over here we have some resources. All right, so what are we about to do? Well, first, if you're completely and totally brand new and you really don't know what you want to do, then I suggest you take the achievement book, you look in it, see what the achievements are and just kind of go down through them um i'm not gonna be doing that i kind of know where i want to go kind of know how i want to set things up and uh so yeah i'm not gonna use that but it's a good good starting point so we've got some wood we've got some food Got some saplings and some silkworms. Where do we go? Well, I'm going to show you how to get water. So, we're going to need to build some things. One of these, an oak barrel, excuse me, a wooden barrel. Um, Two, two, thank you. Um, so, with this, I'm going to set this up like that. Nice. And we can wait for it to rain. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dev, what if I'm in a desert or savanna? And it doesn't rain. All right. Makes things difficult. But that's when we look for the oak. Crucible. Which is made like this. Um, so let's go ahead and make one. And does it need now? You'll notice I have these. You're probably wondering why they're there. Um, we're gonna make a few more. Six times four is uh, twenty-four. There we go. We're going to make some more wooden barrels. Now, remember when I said that saplings were a very 
very dire important thing here in Sky Factory. Well, if we take some saplings and we put it into a wood barrel, we will get dirt. But if you put it into a crucible, Notice that it says solid volume and fluid volume. We're making water. We are making water out of leaves slash saplings. Pretty nifty. Now, dirt's all well and good. But, uh, no, that's just going to let us grow more trees, right? Well... Kind of, sort of, no. We need dirt so we can sieve it, so we can make cobblestone. Things come from cobblestone. Well, things come from dirt, too. But to do any sieving, we're going to need string. Um, so, how do we get string? Well, remember these silkworms? We're going to take four. Yeah. Um, what you do now, please make sure that you have a sapling because when you do this, you're not going to get any saplings. But then you just infest the tree with silkworms. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to turn all white. So... These are going to spread throughout all the leaves. And when we break the leaves, we're then going to get string and or silkworms. Uh, so that's how we're going to get string. But we're also going to need sieves. And if we look up the recipe for that, There it is. Now, in Sky Factor 2, you take some string, you take some wood, you make a sieve, and then you take your dirt, just right click and it pops right out, and you punch it into the sieve, and you're done. Not so much. Um, we want a heavy. We just want this. All right. So we're missing some parts. Let's go ahead and make them. Um, yeah. Sieving has drastically changed. We're going to make a bunch of these. All right. Um, yeah. Is that enough? You think four is enough? Yeah, I think we'll go with four for now. And we're just going to set these up. You'll notice there's no mesh in them. Well, we didn't have the string yet. So, these all down here say that they're done. Yeah, I think they're done. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a couple of those crooks. But we're going to do something with them. We're going to do this. So this is called a compressed crook. So it's just like a crook, but it's basically uh, more than four times the durability which is a good thing. Get more get more f out of it. Is that one done? It is done. All right. So we're going to stand here. We're going to use our uh, vein miner that's not vein miner. And just chop it away. And look at all that string. Nice. All right. And you'll notice 
hunger went down. So next, we'll just do this. We'll get one, two, three, and four uh, of these meshes. We're going to put these in. Just right click like that. Now that's a string mesh, just so that you know. There are different meshes. We have string meshes, we have flint mesh, we have an iron stiffened mesh, and we have a diamond mesh. Um, yeah, depending on what type of mesh you're using, as to what you're going to get from the items. Um, uh, let's not leave this up here with nighttime coming. Da, da, da. Oops. I'm just going to put this down. There we go. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and grab an apple. Because, yeah. So, we have four mesh. Excuse me, sibs. Um, Why did I make four? Well, I said there were some changes made. Uh, because they're all connected, I can smack one. And look, all four of my dirt went into them. So now, I can just sit here and sieve and i've sieved all four of them all at once great unfortunately i only got 10 of these stones stone pebbles so we're gonna craft those together and we will get two cobblestone so that's pretty good all right right well we need a lot more cobblestone so we need more saplings, right? Well, yeah. We can use saplings here in the oak barrels, or uh, we could use silkworms, or we could use the apples, or we could even use string. Um, but there's a few other things that we could use that are a little bit more efficient. And I'm going to show you what those are. Uh, so one thing that we could use is a pair of shears. Um, now, I, I know that several of you are like, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, Dev. You need, you need some iron for that. Well, typically, yes, you're right. Except that again, we have mods. Uh, so, normal shears to iron. Uh, we've got Man of Steel from Botnia. We've got, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Ooh, Dark Shears. Dark Steel from Ender IO. Um, looks like that's powered. Um, yeah. Uh, some Gold Shears. Well, we don't have any gold. Stone Shears? Hey, uh, can we use cobblestone? Doesn't look like it. All right. Diamond shears. Nice. Uh, ooh, what's this, guys? Wooden shears. Hey, there's a recipe we can make. Uh, that's all we need. Is some of that. And, uh, some of that and uh, some of these. All right. By the way, shift. Let's, let's, if you just click it, the plus, it'll put uh, your if you have the items in your inventory uh, into the crafting station. If you shift click it, it'll put as ma as many as you can into it, and then shift click and it brings it right out. Uh, so that makes crafting very easy. Um, and you can put string 
And I'll show you that here. I'm going to put string in here. And that'll compost into dirt. But, uh, yeah, it takes a lot. Um, so it's not very efficient. Uh, now, these don't last very long. But, you get leaf blocks. Now, you also get saplings. And sometimes you'll get some apples. So this is a... And it's already broken. But, as far as for making dirt, uh, leaf blocks, definitely one of the uh, better blocks or better uh, items to use uh, to get your dirt. Well, there is one other. Pretty good. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at what that could be. Uh, and we've got the, the, the tools for it. Uh, we probably should eat that apple. Again, using the vein miner really sucks down your health. Um, so if, if you're familiar with the Exnilio, you know that there's this thing called uh, the hammers. And we're going to make a, a wooden one for now. Um, and we're going to use it here on the tree. And in bashing the tree, we get this wood chippings. Because uh, we've got we've got a fair amount of wood right now that... I mean, I also got this, so we've got a fair amount of wood. We don't really need a whole lot more wood, but we're going to be chopping down trees for the leaves, the saplings, hopefully some apples. So why don't we just turn the wood into some chippings? Because chippings, eight, will turn into dirt. That makes life very easy. And that ghost block is just really annoying. Alright. So that's, uh, that's some of the things that we can use to make dirt. And we're going to make use dirt to make cobblestone. And we're going to make cobblestone or use cobblestone to make diamonds and emeralds and redstone. Yeah. Fun, right? So, what I'm going to do, I think we'll end the episode at this. I've shown you how to make the sieves. Um, I've shown you how to get uh, dirt, showing you how to get water, even if you're in the desert or a savanna where it doesn't rain. Um, if it rains, you just leave these out. As it rains, these will fill up, and you're done. Um, so I think in the next episode, we will... Well, I'll continue to get more dirt. So we'll have a nice uh, supply of cobblestone. Pardon me. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to do with the cobblestone. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.